What is going on and welcome to another episode of the Urban Pitch Podcast, the beautiful game of life, part of the Believe Network. I'm Ramsey Abushala, editor of urbanpitch.com. As always, I'm joined by the co-executive directors of Vibes, Juli Monterosa and Bridget Flores. What's going on, y'all? Hey, what's up? Hello, hello. Bridget vibing right Bridget. now. Bridget, <laughs> Bridget uh, vibing right I'm now. I'm vibing. Bridget's on uh, day two of a, of a bender um, right now. <laughs> it's uh, it's World Cup season, so she's been outside. She's been doing her job. I've been doing um, my job. So been, shout out to her. I've been on the ground running. Um, my co over here has not been doing his job. Uh, so my voice goes in. away every time I yeah, do it. So, yeah, so I mean, he's, he's just. Yeah. yeah, no, he's 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 living within his limits. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? He's still he's still out here doing his doing his thing. But my Bridget, diligence. Bridget's doing. She's she's switched roles now. She's doing. Stuff on I'm the ground on the floor. Yeah, yeah, he's on yeah. probation. We'll see how. I, I had yeah. more of the uh, the back end of this. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> had to make some things happen. Exactly. Some pieces. We, you know, sometimes we have to switch. I guess. He's willing, yeah. dealing behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. But but we do have there. a guest with us today as <laughs> well. Um, she's a friend of the show. She's. Uh, um, do you guys go back? Like I I I'm I'm not entirely sure like the the length of the relationship, but she's a friend of the, like a long time friend of of us, friend of uh, Urban Pitch, <laughs> Urban Futsal LA. Um, she's a professional soccer player uh, for Toluca and Liga Mekis. Uh, Destiny Duran, what's going on? Hello, hello, what's up? <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, just um, first of all, it's it's great to have you here. I know Thank you've been in Mexico for uh, for a long time, and mm -hmm. you you had a kind of a short window of time. Can you speak English? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Probably. sometimes like when I'm talking to my parents, like I forget the words in English, and they're just saying in Spanish. And I'm like, no, because I need to know both languages. Right. <laughs> I'm here right now. Yeah. I need to say yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I the thing I'm like most disappointed in myself about is not being bilingual. So, um, as the only uni unilingual person in in the room, I feel a little bit, um, you know, uh, inferior. So, so if 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 you see me trying to puff my chest out, just know that's why that's I'm feeling. I'm, I have a little bit of a complex going on right now. But, uh, anyways, uh, Destiny, what's going on with you? What's what, what, like uh, what, what's good? What's new? Nothing. Just we finally have vacation for about I want to say like it was about three weeks so my time period right now like just being home like getting like you said time change and mm. just everything like trying to kind of like relax my body but also keep my body like in shape for for preseason um it's kind of difficult you know to kind of like balance everything out and see everybody but right now definitely loving being here she's yeah. got a busy schedule I had yeah. to I asked her you know can you keep on me down for uh yeah. next Tuesday <laughs> 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 it's really good to see you though, that's me. Yeah, it's been thanks a long, for having me, guys. A long time. Mm -hmm. I think, um, when's the last time we saw each other? Like in person? Mm -hmm. Like a year ago, two years ago? I think so, right? Yeah. I, I had, um, I met Destiny at the base. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. My um, job. That's where our friendship started. <laughs> yeah. From there, you know, we just bonded and vibed out the whole time. Mm -hmm. We would play pickup together. Yeah. We worked at the base together. Yeah, two Jackson front desk Shelby workers. Had a, had a job <laughs> yeah. I was so how Ramsey was as a manager? Yo, <laughs> Ramsey, wasn't Ramsey like the worst? Honestly, we had such a great working relationship. We worked well. We didn't even talk. We just looked at each other and we knew what to we do. We knew what was happening. Ramsey just is something else. Only thing I, the only thing I remember was just being like, You ain't Yo. No, no, no. <laughs> not even that. Not even that. Like, like hey, uh, can you can you cover the first fifteen minutes? I'm gonna be late. You know what I mean? And, oh and my God. not so much De Destiny. Maybe a couple. Maybe a couple times. But and it was like she was late because you know something happened. But Bridget was like consistently <laughs> ten to fifteen minutes. You where act it was like, like I didn't have a full time hey, job. I mean, like other. <laughs> so do we. So did we. So do we. We had that too. We had other stuff going on. That wasn't. That wasn't the only thing I was doing all day. Oh like I was gosh. able to show up on time. I was coming from the valley. I mean, whatever. We can get into yes. this a little bit more. But um, <coughs> I know. Yeah. It was a lot of fun getting to know you, and then also like when we were there. I remember you would always like talk to me about the process that you had going on mm -hmm. with you know playing season taking whatever you were doing after that to like mm -hmm. move on to the next yeah. step and not knowing if I was going to make a pro or not. I know. <laughs> I, was I know. Like, Do this my chance. I remember like, you left in Mexico, came uh -huh. back and, and we were just like, like, I don't so know what's going to happen. They want me, but I don't know. <laughs> and then I left again. I was like, okay, now it's for sure I'm staying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so talk Today's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. Basketball is back and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting needs this season. You'll always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. And as your continued source for all wagering information, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite sports and events, whether that's NFL, NBA, NHL, MMA, tennis, boxing, or even golf. 
Head to betonline.ag, that's betonline.ag, to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use promo code BELIEVE, that's B-L-E-A-V, to receive your rewards. Bet online where the game starts. Talk about that a little bit more. So you were at CSUN playing for uh-huh. season while you were working at the base. Yeah. And uh, you've obviously since made the jump to, to going mm. pro. So what was that whole transition like? What was that um, time like for you? How did you make that next step? Um, honestly, I had no idea I was going to go pro or even had a chance to go pro. Um, I actually literally like from working at the base and everything is how I met um, obviously like all you guys and then other people and um, like people who helped me get to Mexico and have my mm. um, opportunity. Um, so I was a plug with the agent. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, Honestly, yeah. I literally <laughs> was just talking to him about that today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this is this like not even is this like? Fact no, is this yeah, because I, I can't believe half the things shit, he yeah. said. Hey, hey, let her know. Let her know. <laughs> no, no, he really did. He, so he hooked when, you up with the agent. Yeah, I um, I'm at out America. Here, baby. <laughs> I'm out here, baby. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Um, at America, I didn't have an agent, and then um, after America, I went to Toluca. And I think it was you had told me it was like my first tournament, Toluca, yeah. or something like that. And he was like, oh, you know, like. Uh, my homie's an agent. He wants to talk to you. This and that. But I wasn't like too big on like agents and stuff. Mm. He's not here. <laughs> 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 um, I wasn't like too big on like agents. I was like, you know, like I don't know. Like I feel like I can. Like I've done it. Like two contracts on my own already. I was like, you know, maybe I should be okay. But I was like, no. Like I'm all like open to to hear him out and everything. Literally, it took that day. Like when we did the the um, what is it? The Zoom call with him. And I was like, no, okay, yep, I got an agent. I'm like, that's yeah. it. So yeah, it was definitely cool. Yeah. Uh, have you have you been able to get a little bit more deals on the side and, and yeah. been able to market yourself a little yeah, bit more? Yeah, I'm agent actually. Um, what is it? I'm actually. I have Electrolyte. And because oh, yeah, the hangover water. That's what we need. box. Literally, that's what everyone tells me. They're like, oh, give me a box, give me a box. And I'm like, the blueberries, baby. Blueberry. <laughs> um, and then I actually have a protein. Um, but right now, we're actually working on like other stuff, too. So hopefully, little by little. Because I've only been in um, in the Liga Mekis for going on my third year right now. Okay. Uh-huh. It honestly feels like forever, but it's I only know. been my third year. So right. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Um, no, yeah, but going into um, how I got there, um, I ended up, like, after college, um, when I, well, I didn't graduate yet, it's just, like, our season um, finished, and for me, ever since I was little, I always wanted to play pro. I always, like, I was like, soccer, 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 my dad always had me, like, on soccer and everything, and I had no idea, like, how I was going to do it, where I was going to go, like, if there was tryouts or anything, but I literally just kept trying to like play as much as possible like to be on top of like my fitness like um just everything everything and i ended up going to a tournament i ended up started playing to starting to play with um fc golden state and there actually met some girls who took me to another tournament and then from there um in that tournament actually came really good friends with this girl named liz and she actually had a um a tryout for america I had no idea who she was or nothing, but we ended up that tournament, we ended up talking, and she was like, dude, you're a baller, like, this is not, and she was like, oh, I'm going to go, um, in like a couple months, I'm going to uh, try out for America, but I wasn't going to be like, oh, take me with you, you know? Right. Like, like, you know like, I was like, we ain't thirsty out here, yeah. we ain't yeah. thirsty out here. We got to play it cool, yeah. we got to play it cool. When, when do we leave? Yeah. yeah. It's like when you send that DM, you got to end up with the LOL. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta get in there. But I told her I was like, no, it was like that sick. You're for sure gonna make it because honestly, she was a baller, baller, baller. And um, we ended up just talking and everything, and then we ended up playing like a couple other like Sunday league games and stuff like that. And then she ended up telling me like, dude, like you're for sh- like you for sure need like to go pro. She's like, let me talk to my guy. Like if you want, I could talk to him, see if he can come with me. And then right there, I was like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, you know, right. I was like, yes, please. I was like, honestly, <laughs> like anything. And so he ended up sending. Um, like taking videos of me and he sent it to um the head coach of america and from there the head coach basically told um him you know like bring her with her you know and so i ended up going with her i actually lived with her um she ended up telling me like oh like half 5 a.m training and i was like oh my god i was like 5 a.m girl oh I, was like, I cannot do that. <laughs> i was like i cannot but i was like you know what i was like this is a grind i was like if i want to go pro like you have to you know so i ended up living with her for i don't know how many it was like maybe like four months i think out here or in, in mexico in long beach okay because yeah. i'm from santa clarita so for me to drive out every single day that's you know, tough like, yeah yeah ridiculous. right 
So I ended up living with her, I want to say, for like three or four months. And we would do like double sessions, like 5 a.m. And then another one at like four. And, you know, just like we just went all And then a party up. here. Like, <laughs> it was out Going here. Like, hey, to <laughs> How to get your fun in before, you know, before pro. But, um, yeah, now I literally just went all out, all out for those four months. And I think I would just go home on the weekends. Like, out of the whole week, mm-hmm. I would just see my parents, like, on the weekends. And, like, sometimes when I'd be, like, a little tired, I'd be, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come, go back, like, Sunday night or Monday morning. Um, but yeah, basically like that was, it was just full grind mode. And so I ended up going with her, um, to the tryout in Defe and just that whole yeah. week I was like, you know what, like honestly going in, into, um, like a tryout, like especially like pro and like another country, you know, you don't really know how they like, they play and stuff. Yeah. The only thing I was like, it would have told myself, I was like, dude, just literally just think I'm like, you're the best player on this field. You're the best player on this right. field. Like yeah. just have as much confidence as you possibly can. And I literally, honestly, I was, I was pretty proud of myself, how I did, um, how I did my tryout. I, d- I did really, really well. And by the end of the week, he was like, we want you. Where He's was like, the tryout? In, um, in Club America. Oh, so Club you America. went, you went to yeah, we the legit, facility and yeah. then you did the but tryout it was, the, it was with like all the girls, everything. Mm. And so the first thing you played for was America. Yeah. My first That's team. great. That's like yeah. a, one of the most historic Premier, teams. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In, yeah. in Liga Mekis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Did you share the field with Ochoa? <laughs> I actually met him though. Yeah. I met him. So he's super, super nice. Oh, Ocho, that's super nice. Him and then, uh, excuse, what's wrong with Ochoa, excuse bro? Me. Like, excuse, excuse me. me. I'm sorry. He said Ochoa. Oh, yeah. hey. No, you're supposed to Relax. let that go, man. You're supposed to let that go. Relax. That's just bad podcasting there. But go ahead. That's, and go that's ahead. the relationship. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Got no, a little uh, fluster yeah. for Ochoa. Dang. I no, I met um, Ochoa and I met Giovanni. Mm. Mm. They're, you didn't party with Giovanni? I heard he's a big party animal. That's like the rumor. Yeah, we stayed like, <laughs> we got like for other girls. Like over here. They honestly, in America, they didn't want like any, like the girls. Fraternization. Uh-huh. Yeah. How many times did you sneak out? None. Except for that one time. Except for that one time. I don't remember. But <laughs> what, what, what was the jersey number? <laughs> <laughs> No, but so so the the pathway to going pro though that I mean that doesn't seem like like you met someone who mm-hmm. happened to be having a tryout. Mm-hmm. You know, if you didn't meet Liz, mm-hmm. who knows where you're at right now? There was mm-hmm. was there like a pathway to going pro for you? Did you see that mapped out, or was it more of just like a a happenstance type? Honestly, I had no idea. I had mm-hmm. no idea about anything. Anymore. Going with the flow. Yeah, yeah. I was just going with the flow. I was like. Because honestly, it's a lot of like, you know, have to know someone to know someone type stuff, mm. which is literally exactly how it happened. Mm-hmm. But I was honestly, like I said, like I was just trying to play and like do everything and then slowly trying to like, you know, like get like little bits and pieces of here and how I can do it and where I can go. And honestly, I never, I never really thought of playing like in Mexico. Mm. Like I've always wanted to play for like the Mexican national team, but I never yeah. really thought of playing like in the league mm-hmm. until like I actually went out there and I was like, you know, like early ballers out here, yeah. you know? Right. That's crazy. Yeah. And I remember when we would talk at the base, um, I remember you shared a story with me about mm-hmm. your knee injuries. I think you yeah. had two back to back. Yeah. Is that like where the Mamba mentality for you comes from? Because I know you're also mm-hmm. a big Kobe yeah, fan, yeah. Mamba all the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Honestly, that too, like, because I've torn both of my ACLs. My first one, it wasn't back to back. It was one, my first one was when I was 15 years old. Okay. That's tough. Yeah, I was a baby. Can even stanky like that. Yeah. Yeah. My first one when I was fifteen, and my second one was when I think I was like nineteen. I think it was like nineteen or twenty, something like that. And honestly, like the first one, I was like, you know, like this is my first. Honestly, I didn't even know what an ACL was. <laughs> but you know, I was like, <laughs> what, what happened? That? And so yeah. I tore it. I was like, okay, this is what it is. You know, it's pretty big. Um, my first um, ACL injury was actually it was non-contact. Um, and I was like, you know, like, I'm gonna come back from this. I'm like, you know, my first big injury, you know, like nothing too, too big. My second one, oh my gosh, I thought like I was done playing. Mm-hmm. And I even told mm-hmm. my coach, honestly, I even told my coach when he went on the field, cause I, I tore my second one in college. He went on the field and I was like, I'm, I can't play anymore. I was like, I'm done. Was it the same, the same one? It was my, um, my first one was my left knee. My second one was my oh, right wow. knee. So I have one on one. Um, so you have both. Yeah. Yeah, you, you've done both of them. Yeah. Dang. And, and the ACL injury has taken a lot of, like, women's pro players, like, yes. this, just this past year. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, Kristen Press. Uh-huh. Uh, I forget the goalkeeper who, who just tore ACL mm-hmm. uh, right now, Alexi Pateas. Mm-hmm. Um, like, that's, like, just, it's been it's a... Big. Yeah, yeah. It's super big. Even in Mexico, too, like, in our club, I honestly want to say there's at least, like, 
And just throughout the entire club, I want to say there was at least this past tournament, like six ACL injuries. Damn. Yeah. You just see everyone just like walking around crutches and stuff. And I'm like, well, I didn't want to look because I'm like, yeah. it was bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a flashback for you because yeah. you went through the whole recovery. Mm -hmm. That's why the second, the first one, it took me, I took the full 12 months to come back because I was like, you know, I want to come back like 100%, more than 100%. And um, the second one. I just thought about the whole process again, the whole year, everything. I was like, like mentally, like I was not, I was like, I don't know if I could do this. And then like a week later, you know, like my emotions kind of like calmed down a little bit. And I was like, all right, let's go. You know, like I got one more season to play. Um, so yeah, that, and like you said, like the Mamba, Mamba mentality, since my first, since I was little, like very, very little, um, my dad has always been a huge Lakers fan. And he um, used to like always like, we used to always, like, our family is just super big on, like, all sports. Like, mm -hmm. like any sport, you name it, like, we literally, like, we watch it or go to games. Um, but my dad, when we were little, he was super, super big on Kobe, too. And he just always, like, told me and my sister, like, oh, like, watch Kobe this, this and that. You know, like, yo, Lakers are playing Kobe, mm -hmm. you know? Like, we were actually even at um, his 81-point game. Oh, wow. You were at yeah. the game. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't even know how old crazy. I was. I think I was, like, I don't even know, like, eight, seven. Oh, my God. Yeah, we were little. Um, so yeah, ever since my first ACL, um, obviously, you know, like, need a little motivation and stuff, and the only person I knew that literally had, like, that mentality of just, like, push, push, like, you know, you're more than what you think and everything was Kobe. So I would watch all his interviews, like, even if they were old interviews, like, just watch him play, everything, and, um, and that helped me get back, and then especially my second one, when I thought, like, I was just done and everything, like... Again, like I said, like I, it took me like the week or so to like calm my calm myself. But for me to get through the what is it the whole process because my second one took me like a year and four months because I had so many problems with my second ACL mm -hmm. that I was just like, oh my gosh, I was like, this is ridiculous. And um, so, like I said, like I was just watching all his interviews, like everything possible, like like bought his books, you know, like everything, mm -hmm. literally everything, everything possible. Even I even have him tattooed. Like everything. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and that definitely like helped me so, so much. Like it changed my mentality so much. And it, I would just say like, kind of like my maturity, my mentality, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And honestly, like, and once he, he passed away, I literally couldn't open my book. I couldn't do anything. I was crying. I was like, I was like, I didn't, you know, like I felt like I knew him, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, and especially because for me, like he helped me like get back from those two like major injuries. So for me, it would like it kind of like took took a it big took hit. a lot, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he he got you through your toughest time. Exactly. And it's like, I think for a lot of athletes, for a lot of people that looked up to him, mm -hmm. you lose someone that you don't know, know, but like you know and you look up exactly. to, and it just hurts. Yeah. 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 Even sometimes still, like when I see videos of him, you know, like in his daughter, I'm like, oh my God. Uh, I'm like yeah. I want to cry still. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But let's take it back to now. You you, you do all the tryout. They mm -hmm. sign you. Mm -hmm. You had to to uh, Columbia Medica to, to to go pro. Did you graduate from CSUN or yeah. did you go straight? So, like, take us through that process. What was going through your head? Were you nervous? All all, all that. Um. Yeah. No. I graduated. I wanted to make sure I graduated mm -hmm. before I even went anywhere anywhere or did anything. Um. So yeah, I graduated from CSUN, and I think it literally happened like almost right away because I think it was like four or five months after I graduated was when I went to my trial. Oh, got it. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so you were like done. Right you were already done yeah. with school when mm -hmm. you when you had mm -hmm. done the tryout. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And that's when I started working at uh, the base. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. like, I need a job. You know, I have no money. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> nothing about the base, though. <laughs> Bring the base back. <laughs> hey, it's hey, nothing about the base. So there was some alcohol always laying around somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> there was, uh, I don't know. Ramsey was, was in charge of the uh, pennies uh, and then the alcohol. Yeah, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was soccer, like. <laughs> And alcohol all makes it to one. <laughs> no, the base honestly was, I love the base. It was, it was. Good it was, times, yeah. good times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and definitely good memories with. Let's not even talk about those moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next. No, no. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Some secrets. <laughs> <laughs> what happens with the base stays with the base. Hey, like Vegas. Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Ramsey was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I went home before 10. Ramsey's like, oh home my by God, 10. Here we go. Home by 10. <laughs> I mean, I knew. No, I trust me. I knew what was going on. But but no, continue. <laughs> continue. This way. is not he what we're like, here <laughs> to talk about, though. But continue with, with, with getting to Club America. Let him know what how was that like? Wake up and go, every Sunday I go to church right after. Right after. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 
Yo, let's go. Let, let's keep this on, on task here. We're going way, way hey, too far. Destiny. Yeah, you can't blame us. yeah, but we're here to talk to her about, you know, you know what I mean? Like okay, Ramsey, providing insight. We're doing inside right, jokes. You know what I mean? Like, let's go. Let's, right, let's keep this moving. Right. Destiny, so right. going back to Club America because this guy about the pop of vein in his neck. No, I mean, we're just, we're just going down memory lane. Let's continue, Destiny. Go. Yeah. Um, honestly, I was super nervous. I don't know if I actually, when I when we would work together, I don't know if I would tell you, like, I felt I was nervous, like going into it. I, rem- I remember when you came back and you were like, I think I'm gonna go, like it's gonna be official. Well, I, guess I, made I it, definitely uh-huh. do remember you saying that. Like you going and, and then mm-hmm. coming back the first time I remember mm-hmm. we talked about it and you were like, I don't know, it was it's hard. Gonna yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you went and you came back and uh-huh. I was like, you were like, oh, shoot, I the think whole, I'm like, gonna go. The whole like facial expression changed. Yeah, I was like, and I was like there it yeah. is. No, going, going into the trial, I definitely was, was nervous. And like I said, like when I came back and everything, you know, like the whole facial expression changed, you know, I had a little bit more confidence. I was like, you know, like, I think, mm-hmm. I think I got it, you know, like not a hundred percent, but you know, basically. Um, but for me, honestly, I was just so, cause it happened so fast. Like for me, like I didn't even have time to think about me moving. I was just, mm. my first thing was just train. I have like three or four months to, until this tryout, you know? And then once the training was done, I was just focused. The next thing that I focused on was tryout. And then after the tryout came back and then I was like, I still don't like have my legit like signed contract yet. Mm-hmm. So I was still focused on that, you know, like how am I like, what's going to happen and everything like the negotiating and stuff like that. And then once I, um, they told me, he, we went back or I came back from the tryout and that's when he told me like, oh, like we want you and everything. But it was only like a verbal kind of like commitment. Got it. So I was like, how am I supposed to know? You know yeah, like, they you know, be like, lying. Exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You showed oh, yeah. up again. Like, yeah. who are you? You were like, show me my like, pesos. My <laughs> Bring the pesos out. Bring the pesos out. Now he's like. <laughs> no pesos, no nothing. You know? Yeah, so then, uh, no, so then we talked to him and he was like, no, yo, we want you and everything. And then I was just like blowing up his phone like every time, you know, like. Like, okay, Damn, so thirsty. When it comes to money, when it comes to money, there's no yeah. such thing as two. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And so at the end of the week of that tryout, he was like, um, the girls are going on vacation. Um, he's like, you go home for, I think it was for Christmas. Like, it was like a week or so. Like, like I don't know how long it was. Do you remember? I honestly don't know. <laughs> no, I think you left like a month and you came back for like, no, you came back like for three days and you was out again. You came back. So it was only like that quick. Yeah, oh, okay, like, yeah. you came and he was like three days and he was out. Yeah, so then I did, yeah, so then I came back, and he, I think he told me you only have, like, a certain amount of, of time back home, because the girls have, like, this much vacation. He's like, but when you come back, he's like, you're here for good. Mm-hmm. And so that's when nice. I started thinking, about, I was like, you know, I was so excited. I was like, you know, like, I'm going to get my contract, and I'm finally, like, doing what I wanted to do ever since I was little. You know, like, it's like a dream come true, basically, but... Like, the last, like, once, like, I started saying bye to my parents and everything, I was, like, well, because my dad went with me. My dad literally goes, like, went with me to, like, every, like, two everything. weeks. Yeah, my dad went with me for my tryout to go settle in. Even, like, Toluca, he went with me to go over there to go settle in. Everything, everything. My dad's been with me for everything. Um, and so, yeah, just basically saying bye to, like, my, my mom and my sister. I was just, like, mm. okay, now it's hitting me, you know? Yeah. I was, like, damn. I was, like, I'm going to be far. Yeah. And then, um, so that tournament, I was, like... You know, like super like focused and everything, but I want to say like I honestly did get like a bit homesick, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, you know, it's like I don't know if I can. Your first this. roommate was Jen Jen Munoz, yeah, America. Yeah, she she came on the podcast. Yeah, before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jen and and Janae. Um, those were my two my two roommates. Do you think being homesick kind of like impacted your play, your game? Yeah, yeah, it, was, it definitely did. Even because I had a really good relationship with the head coach, um, and I don't know if you guys know Leo Cuellar. No, no. Okay. I'm like okay. <laughs> we'll Wikipedia well. him later. <laughs> no, so I had a really, really, really good relationship with him, and he kind of like I was like open to talk to him and everything, and and I think that's part of, that's part of the reason honestly why too like he he kind of he let me go because I would like I didn't quit from the team like he let me go from the team, um, and he was just like I think like mentally he's like you're not like ready you know like to be. Like, to give, like, everything you have. Like, I was playing, I was scoring, you know, like, starting and everything. And, like, I thought I was doing good. He's like, but, he's like, honestly, he's like, I want you to be on this team. I want you to stay. Like, I would love for you to stay. He was like, but, he's like, you, he's like, I want you to go to another team, maybe closer to home. He's like, so you can literally be the star from that team, you know. He's like, because here, he's like, I feel like you have so much more to give, but you're not giving it. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I was like, damn, I was like, I thought I was doing good. You know? I was like, <laughs> what do you I was mean? Like, Dang. I was at a hundred. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I got my uh, my uh, my two goals, my first two goals, like playing pro and everything there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I definitely think it was like a good start. 
uh, for me, and I ended up going to Toluca, and literally what he wanted literally happened. That's what happened. So I was like, wow. I was like, actually, like, thank you, you know, yeah. like as much as it sucked, like you know, being cut from a team, I was like, everything happens for a reason, and you know, like, I just, think sometimes I'm happy you need that. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. So what are the differences that you've noticed? Not not only no, from let's you. trash America. How, how bad was America? <laughs> right. No, exactly. No, no, no. But yeah, like, let's go for it. If we're gonna go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, what are, like now that besides you kind of blossoming and and uh. and like finding your own, like, yeah. what are the differences you've seen now at, at Toluca versus Club America? Like me personally. Or anything like, like from yeah, the yeah. way the teams yeah. ran yeah, any yeah. talk as much trash as you want yeah. we're here for that <laughs> um no i honestly don't have anything like bad at all to say about america. i really love <laughs> i loved america i loved it um and just i would say the difference between america that i liked a lot more compared to toluca is that i think the professionalism mm. is definitely mm. it plays like a huge role and I think like our team, the maturity, because the girls on America were older mm. and like even older than me when I went, because I think I went at, um, I was 23 when I went and 40 old, three babies. Yeah. Three. <laughs> 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 no, so like they actually, they helped me to like mature and everything, you know, just like, you know, especially like being in like a different country, you know, you, it's like different, just a different culture. And then here at Toluca, uh, the girls, it's like, it's a very young team. It's a very young team, and mm. I think the maturity is what is what doesn't let us or kind of like holds us back from going to like the next level. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. We have like a lot of. I'll be popping on TikTok though. Oh, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Someone yeah, he actually just told me that the other day. Yeah. I was like, dang, I was over here too. <laughs> I was just in Mexico. <laughs> no, TikTok <laughs> is international. They got this app in Mexico called TikTok. Have you guys heard of it? It's TikTok. El TikTok. No, but I seriously thought it was just like, you know, like, and obviously, like, you, like, obviously, it's like TikTok is from everywhere, but I thought more of like, you know, because the Mexico. Right, right, right. Now you are here popping. You are here popping. You are here TikTok. No, I was like, okay, whatever. Are you doing dances and stuff? I know. So that's cute though i mean like it's, it looks like that's cute you have a <laughs> it is cute like it is it's nice to have that yeah. like that community that like dynamic with yeah. um with the team no and toluca fans are like really like they're all about their team as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah they're all about their team like they're one of the most winning winning teams in the last 20 years you mm -hmm. played at toluca I played at the look for like five years. Uh, they call me. They That's call crazy. me. They call me. They call me Cardoso. <laughs> no, but how was that? First of all, you don't even play Bridget. You suck. <laughs> I played. Uh, me and this new get a You little, play games. Yeah. Hey, hey. Remember Ramsey? Remember Ramsey? No, Ramsey's like no. no. We were, like I said, we market. only got a look and we didn't know what we're talking about. Yeah, that's all, out, off camera only. Off camera only. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but so so yeah. So, now go ahead. Or uh, like talk about the fans because uh, Joanna Rosas, we had her. Mm. Um, she played mm -hmm. uh, with 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 Cholos, mm -hmm. and she was talking about how the fans um, out there were just you know like just have this undying support to the team. Mm -hmm. Where, have you seen the same with, with, with Toluca and, and versus Club America? Or mm -hmm. like, um, like w w what have you seen from a fan perspective? Um, definitely, I wanna say, um, I wanna say just like, you know, like every club, like they have like their diehard fans, you know, mm -hmm. like they go like all out for their club and everything. And um, obviously America has like, like a bigger like variety of fans, I would say, like around the And they're crazy. World. They are crazy. Like, cause like I remember they, they came out here and they had like a, like a, I, feel, I feel like it was a the old players from that played in America and the mm -hmm. old players I played with Chivas and it was like a big fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. No, they go all out. They, they the go rivalry. all out. Yeah. Um, no, but America when I was over there definitely had a lot of fans. You know, like they were super supportive. And uh, once I went to uh, Toluca, same thing. You know, like very very supportive. Like. I got fans like literally like this, and I was like, "Dang, is that fast?" I mean, you guys are all my like, bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> she popping, popping. Like, 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 I got fans like this. Yeah, my bad, my bad. I, I have some fans, but they're like, a little slower. It's more of a clap. Yeah, yeah, it's more of a yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a little yeah. bit yeah. all the way. <laughs> hey, yo, I gotta chill. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, like, um, Toluca definitely, like, they, they're they super supportive and everything, too. But honestly, I don't know. Like, I don't want to, like, talk bad about my club. But the only thing that I would say, like, I really don't really like about, like, too much about Toluca is that, like, they're fed. They have, like, their diehard fans, like, mm -hmm. everything, you know, like, everyone's super supportive. But it's, like, when you're good, you're good. But when you're bad, like, I feel like you should support mm. your team. Yeah. But they're, like, the first to, like, bring you down, the first Dang. to... Like, so they're, they're harsh. They're, they're, yeah. they're, but that, I think that's like uh, uh, is embedded in not not talk bad, but like Mexican culture, like Mexican s soccer, sports uh, fans culture. I feel like, like like even with the national team, when the national team is doing good, mm -hmm. they're Everybody's the biggest. There. Like mm -hmm. Bridget, like wearing their jerseys <laughs> everywhere. Like yeah. they doing, they're out here. But the minute like Mexico is a little better, jersey half a ha has a it's half like a bad game. Talking, like, oh, like they're the media, like, the media, 20 games like yeah. lost mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, I'm like, mm -hmm. we only lost one game. Like I relax, know. the next game we're gonna be fine. Yeah. You're like, no, definitely it's be okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. What about the difference between like the men's and the women's teams? Because I know you mentioned at Club America they try to keep things separate. Uh -huh. Is it like that at Toluca too? Um, not too much. Like oh yeah, all together like that. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Messy, bro. Messy. Messy. <laughs> um, no, like like I said, like the professionalism is definitely you know like it has like their their limits, like their lines. But the thing that I do like I'm actually like a bit more about Toluca is that they try like bringing the men's and women together like I know when we had like our women's day like we had a training session with the men's team you know like we did like half and half like like um actually no we didn't do half and half we did our like my team against the men's team you know just like in like a little like half field who like, won just messing around we actually we won yeah. 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 yeah we won that's and what they win the tournament this week the guys they beat yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And um and after that we did like soccer tennis you know like oh, with yeah. the guys you yeah. know, like everyone oh like, I know you're touching ain't that great you know? <laughs> 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 why are you talking <laughs> my catcher one on one was it right let's get it let's get it Bridget oh, you know right. this conversation yeah. <laughs> stay out of here like why are you talking <laughs> <laughs> she can fair to relax hey like, don't come for my friend all right for sure my bad my bad loyal 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 <laughs> um no but I would say uh let me see like at, yeah like at america like you literally it was almost like kind of impossible you know like mm -hmm. to talk to the men or whatever like when they walk by like i said like i've seen Ochoa like or like i saw Ochoa like a couple of times and like go out the parking lot and be like oh hi how are you or like even when they go out the parking lot like because i used to live literally like in like like um like two minutes walking from club america like the club mm -hmm. and like one of the guys would like come out and i was actually walking i think with janae and they were like super sweet. They're like, "Oh, do you need a ride to your house? You know, like we can take you." I'm like, "Oh, like why are you?" <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. They'll pick you up in the Porsche and just drive you there. She's, she's the one inferring things. I didn't say a thing. Why, why are you being messy? Right, right, right. Yo, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Leave the messiness to me, man. I can't even finish. Why are you, why are you being judgmental? Randy? I was not. Why are you being I said nothing. No, let the let the record state. This is a no judge free zone. I was not being judgmental. I don't know. No, I was listening intently. <laughs> to what to what she was saying because it was I was taking in this information. Yeah, I don't know. That's all. So, yeah, so, oh, yeah. right, so what we got from the story is uh, Ochoa picked her up. Took her to her <laughs> oh wait, wait, it was like that. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm hearing things now. I'm hearing things. My bad, I'm my bad. Things. My bad. I think he's married. My bad. So now you're in Ochoa's. You're, you're in Ochoa's car. Now what happened next? <laughs> Where'd you, like, you know, like, <laughs> where'd you go eat? <laughs> no, like, there's zero. There <laughs> like, you would think, like, the guys from Club America, I mean, obviously, some of them were, like, super, like, oh, you can't touch me, can't look at me, stuff like mm. that, you know? But they guys super, super humble. Like, super, yeah. like, I honestly would have thought, like, Ochoa, not like he would be, like, super cocky or anything, but I didn't think he would be, like, that, you know, like, to that, like, like level. Down to earth. Uh-huh, exactly. Yeah. Um, no, like, su like, those guys were, like, super, super chill and um here at Toluca like same thing like you literally walk by like I have like I you know like a lot of guys and not a lot I wouldn't say like five guys and then on the team like I can you know just talk to you know like have yeah. a conversation or even like see them um like in their gym <laughs> I was like <laughs> in their gym you know like hey hey she's she's, she's making it for, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah you feel that's me? what it is yeah it is because like I feel like we <laughs> both said nothing both times she's yeah, and then she like, stops all right so that's all right so all right no like, forget this forget this <laughs> So yeah, who took you on a date? <laughs> yeah, if we're gonna go for it, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Just what player the name? Hopefully they're not married. Nah, nah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling out here. I don't wanna be a part of this. Oh my god. Well, we, can, we can talk about that. Yeah, we can talk about that. But um, well, I know we about that. to expose y'all. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Be careful. <laughs> no, but I I didn't get to be here with the Joanna. Um, 
Jojo. Interview mm-hmm. with Jojo. Why was it, Ramsey? She was hungover. No, I was. I just recovering. I, was, I, just I took a personal <laughs> day. Okay, you don't ask questions when someone takes a personal day. But they did get to talk to her about like her experience with like how um, La Liga treats treats like you know the the women's team versus the men's team. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Like, what was your experience in that? Um, I would say that. <laughs> wait, 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 what's I'm going on? I'm all the looks over here. <laughs> Careful. I'm scared. I'm scared. Even, like, no, you yeah, never hey, know. Just look at me. <laughs> hey, right here. Eye yeah. contact. Just look at me. Right. Look at each other. This yeah. is an A and B conversation. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dustin, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, honestly, like, I would say that, I would say we're coming, like, the women, like, um, like, Feminita's coming up, you know, like like higher like with more like fans and everything and like slowly starting to like have the same amount of um i I guess you could say like respect like as a man but definitely the men is like a whole other level Mm -hmm. and sometimes i'm just like really like come on what about like resources wise like everything everything everything. i would say everything because like i forgot like when even when like even when we had like our new uniform the guys look at their stuff like this. Mm. And we're like, dude, we're still using our old stuff. And like, are you kidding? It's not the Jeez. guys' fault that was like shipping uh, delays. <laughs> like, we can't, all, we can't blame the guys for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we to gotta, we gotta blame the shipping department. <laughs> it's not no, the guys' fault. It's like we would just get, you know, like this. You'd be the stuff. afterthought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like the, like we would get like this, you know, like we got your uniforms, everyone gets their uniforms. Like we'd get like the simple stuff. And the guys, you see them, beanies, hats, you know, the like. The whole thing. Everything. Like, everything, everything. And I'm just like, you know, can we get one of those? Like, <laughs> can I get a beanie? But we have to, like, the thing with that is that they would tell us, like, oh, you have to earn it, this is not. And I'm like, why do we, like, and the guys, you know, like. Just like nothing. You know? and like, I don't, like, sometimes, like, obviously, like, when they're not doing, I'm not, like, trying to say, you know, like, oh, they're doing horrible, like, we're doing good, like, we deserve mm-hmm. all this stuff, you know. But it's like, if you're going to tell us, like, we deserve it, then it should be equal, mm-hmm. you know. Because if they're obviously not doing that good, then why do they still get, like, all this other stuff? Mm-hmm. Or even, like, um like their vacation or whatever and stuff like that because this vacation actually they were only supposed to give us like 14 days because of we didn't make it like to the final or just like whatever all that stuff and everyone was like no like that's ridiculous so they were supposed to give you 14 days so, of vacation yeah, but how like, many days did they give you they ended up giving us like i don't even know like three weeks three and a half weeks so we left i don't even know what day i left like about 14 days. Wait, wait, no, <laughs> the math, <laughs> wait, the math isn't checking out. Wait. I'm thinking the math. Wait, wait, wait a minute, hey. So you have you got a 14 day vacation? No, we ended up getting. I was just saying we were supposed to get a 14 day vacation, uh-huh. but they ended up changing it like last minute. To how long? To like three and a half weeks. Something. Three and a half weeks. That's yeah. longer than 14 days. Yeah. yeah so yeah, they, they were only like, gonna give yeah, them 14. So we were oh, they were only they were gonna, gonna give you 14 yeah, days, yeah. and then them. and then they they then they, they said okay, it. you know what. Got yeah. it. Okay, then so I thought. Okay, the there vacation. we go. So yeah. Julio and I, we we under, we understood it a little bit different. I get it. <laughs> Maybe wow. it's our male brains. Yeah, it's our male brains. Yeah, Fourteen. Days. We're not logical. Okay. So yeah. So so no. Let's continue. So so the vacation they they eventually gave you a longer uh-huh. vacation. Yeah, yeah. Um, a long vacation. Have you seen anything else that's been slowly improving? Um. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> like, but no, like even like, like with, um, I don't know how big of fans you guys are for a VAR. But mm-hmm. I hate VAR. I hate it. I hate it because like, I like I'm like a elbow in the <laughs> yeah. That type of guy. He's a dirty player who <laughs> he VAR. He he lives yeah. off of refs not catching him. Uh-huh. You know, and he sees VAR as the ultimate That's snitch. Thing. Yeah. You know, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which, it ain't cheating if you don't get caught. Yeah, that, there's, there's a point yeah. there, but. Salvadorian men. That's the <laughs> only, th- I'm going to say this past tournament, that's like one of the only things that they improved for us is in Ligia, now we have um, VAR. I think it just slows down the game as well, though. It does slow down, I mean, obvi- but, and I, I don't think they've gotten it right, right? Like in other sports, like football, like NFL football, like I think they do. Pretty good job with mm-hmm. like you know video replays, challenges, this and that. I think ours is just like you know, like, you're like oh, oh, it's like the same thing if you literally just. Watch yeah, it. and then s- soccer's a lot more nuanced too, where it's like, mm-hmm. like you know, the dude's pinky is above, mm-hmm. is, is past oh, the last guy, yeah. and they call offsides. Yeah. You know that what I mean? Like, happened. oh my god, I don't know if you saw when I posted um, when I scored against Tigres at home. The golazo that I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag DD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> there we go. Ramsey don't know that he played baseball. But literally, same thing. It was VAR <laughs> really? and offsides. By like literally like nothing. And it wasn't even me because I was. I thought it was me because I was like, bro, I was like, there's no way I'm offsides because I came from like half the field all the way to the field like trying to run for it. And but it was involved in the play though. It shouldn't be offside. It was because the my teammate was. But honestly, I don't even think it was. It was offside. Because they, 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 they had crossed it. Sexy, it. They had crossed yeah. it. And my teammate literally like little pelito, you know, like sh- like that. It barely uh, touched her. It barely I touched think. her. And then I scored. <laughs> but then they were like, oh, like offside, this is that. And I was like, but there was no offsides. Everyone was behind the play. Yeah. And then they even did the VAR. But I was so mad because the center ref didn't even go to the VAR. She was just like, oh, I was like, bro, it's league. Yeah, we have VAR. Like, yeah. go check, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you talk trash to the refs? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big trash yeah. Yeah. In, in English or in Spanish or Spanish. both? Spanish. Yeah. You gotta do it in English. They don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, do they? I mean, would they know? I don't think so. But like, when ne- I start like talking, because honestly, like sometimes I do talk trash. Your neck almost rolled a little bit. I was like, oh, like you know, like you know, you're on top. <laughs> no, honestly, like I do talk trash on the field. What's the but- worst thing you said to a ref? Yeah. <laughs> Son of a what? No, <laughs> like, uh, come on. I, I literally would just be like, no, mames. Like, I said, no, is this then? Like, I'm just saying, no, estás pendejo. And then I was like, phew, I go after. Because I'm like, phew, <laughs> run out. <laughs> I'm like, estás pendejo. <laughs> pew. I'm, like, I'm, out. I'm out. You say it, you say it, and then. You yeah, yeah, I'm out running by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's what good thing, yeah. yeah. yeah no, you got to be savvy about yeah, it, though, Yeah, I said right? some foul yeah, things to some refs. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but but you got to say it like talking to a teammate, but you're actually talking to the ref. I know, you know right? what I mean? Like, you got to be like a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, now, yeah. now that I'm older, I just be like, all right, you made a mistake. You just got to own up to it. Tell me you made a mistake. So, like, I'm basically. No, but that's even worse. Yeah. Yeah, worse. Yeah, the ref is never going to do that. I'm like, all right. So, you don't want to admit it, but you know you were wrong. <laughs> and I'll just walk away. No, it's, it's bad. Like, it's super bad. Damn, you can't go whole straight up in there. I, like, <laughs> I know. Dude, but I was so mad. Dude. I was <laughs> it's so, okay. It's okay. I was it's so okay. Mad. It's okay. It, it, was, it was a valid it was, reason. But it was, it was our, it was actually, I remember when I did it too, because it was our last, last tournament and it was a handball in the box for us to get a PK. And if we would have tied the game, we would have made it to Ligia. Oh, and yeah, was, definitely. Oh, yeah, I would have oh, yeah. so, like, deserved, deserved it. So we lost the, we lost the final things. at the base because of a bad call on the ref, <laughs> and they recorded it. <laughs> I, I, I think it's still on, online. I, <laughs> oh, my. Oh, and like, like, looking back, because I don't know what I'm saying sometimes, like, mm-hmm. in the moment. But then I look back, I'm like, dang, that was me? Like, I, feel <laughs> I bad. said that? And the next week I went to that ref, I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean none of that. Because, like, the things I said, I don't want to repeat because it was so bad. Yeah. Uh-huh. But, like, Does I was. Do you remember? Just, Probably you, you. I probably I probably were there. Yeah, working that day. But I was. Well, <laughs> I went. I went off. Like I, I feel bad. Like, yeah. Like I got personal, super personal. So like. Damn. Damn. I know. That's like Kendall. That's like Kendall. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. No, but it was like it was like things that it probably was not personal. I just made it like if it was. Right. Made it seem like it was true, but I was just mad. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't like, even so. have kids, man. <laughs> 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 it was something like that for real. Yeah. Oh my. And for me, once I start like legit speaking English, that's how you know it's like a whole. Mm. Oh, it's over! It's over! And like even at practice, sometimes like like they will do like a dirty, dirty, dirty like come and tackle like unnecessary. And there's already been like four times I just started like speaking in English, and I'm just like, yo, need to. Once the native language starts coming out, you know, yeah, once my mom, know. like <laughs> <laughs> anytime my mom starts talking to me in Tagalog, it's over. You're, like, like, no, you know, you're okay, in trouble like, big yeah, time. Yeah. 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 Once my mom starts talking to me in Italian, oh wait, this guy, man. Oh my I'm god. Hey, shout out to your mom. You're right. 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 you America. Like America, America is over there in Coyoacan, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just like um, no, I Rivera. honestly, I honestly, <laughs> Colombia. <Yeah. laughs> hey, 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 I'll be in there. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Destiny, go ahead, Destiny. Go ahead, I'm sorry, I'm no, sorry, no. I just had to get that one out. He's like, well, oh, my <laughs> bad, I'm sweating. <laughs> That was, I thought that was funny. I know, I was like, I was laughing a little bit. I thought that was funny. Oh, my God. Shout out to Issa <laughs> <laughs> Um, Honestly, I 
did not like living in Defe, like over there and like next to Club America. It's just literally there's so much. I uh, literally is like downtown LA, like so mm. much traffic, like so many people. Like you can't go. Out, I mean, in Mexico, you can't really go out at night anyways because it's kind of sketchy. Mm-hmm. But I was just like, I couldn't like get any sleep. Like it took me like a minute because there was always like cars honking, and, like yeah. everything, and I was just like, dude, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, let me sleep. Um, but the over there in in the field was definitely a lot like there was a lot more things to do like it was a lot more yeah like over here like you know like they have like you can go anywhere you know like find a town you know like those kind of mm-hmm. and everything like that but over there like it had all that stuff but in toluca it literally is like dry you know like, mm-hmm. like before is, before she signed her uh, contract they already had duran jerseys <laughs> <laughs> yeah. selling in the market like, she, <laughs> like i don't even got my number yet yeah, yeah. who's 17 like that just like that <laughs> I know, yeah, but in, in Toluca, it's definitely, I mean, there is stuff to do, like, there's not like there's nothing to do, but it's just, you literally have to either drive to Mexico City or, like, go out, you know, like, mm-hmm. if you actually want to do something, not just, like, the ordinary, you know, like, go to movies, go bowling, go drink, right. you know, like, your, your little things, stuff like that. Because you want something like a unique experience. Yeah. You have to go a little bit further mm-hmm. out. Yeah. What about the food? Food's bomb. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere in Mexico is bomb. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. What about the night? Without a doubt. I've only actually gone out, like, once. Really? Oh, everything like La Sonda Rosa? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> in, in comparing it, it like, it, you have more experience. It's, like, fun. It's more lit or what? No? No. The nightlife is not really Dang. But it's only one. Like, I'd rather say, my, like, the day that so, I went out, like, it was nice and, like, I had a good time. You know, like, I was drinking. I was mm-hmm. here and there, you know, like, everything. But, like... I think it was I was having more fun because I was a little lit, <laughs> rather than like how like it actually is like over here like you know, like honestly like, I don't have to drink I can just doing be, a little two step yeah literally you can just be chilling, <laughs> like you know I don't have to do anything but over there like I wouldn't I honestly would not go out. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. So what do you do in your spare time then? Um, TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the no, ring light and everything. Honestly, like I'm always so tired over there. Like I literally sleep so much. Yeah. Like sleep so much. Um. I Netflix. Chill. Cool. Netflix. <laughs> I either go like just figure out like stuff to do with my teammates. Like we went like ice skating over there a couple times. Um, you know, movies. And just literally literally How are like, the movies? Are they all in Spanish or like the little subtitles at the bottom? No, they're all in Spanish. Yeah. They're in Spanish, but I think they only like in certain places, um, they have some in English. They dumb they dub them over. So are they are they like um, Spanish movies only, or do they have? No, they're like English, but with the with Spanish the dubs, audience. with the Spanish <laughs> dubs. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Wow, I saw Lion King in Spanish. It was fun. <laughs> 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 Shrek in Spanish is hilarious. Oh, oh dude, those yeah, that's yeah, great. Shrek in Spanish uh, yeah. is hilarious. I haven't seen it. <laughs> you need to watch it. Like, we'll watch Shrek. it together. No, you know, you know, we'll have a sleepover. No. <laughs> so finding that Nemo in Spanish. Hilarious. I, I well, the, the like I would think that the like the sound or like just the it was like the voices. Would yeah. Because mm-hmm. sometimes I'm like I actually like have seen like a certain movie and like in English and I hear it in Spanish and I'm like your voice does not sound like that. Right. <laughs> like, well, like some that. some movies <laughs> not sound like that. <laughs> yeah, you can tell which movies like cared about yeah. like I, like audio. I've seen The Lion King uh, in French class and I took French in high school and we watched The Lion King and like the voice work in that is good uh. and I'm sure the Spanish uh, as well. Hilarious. Some movies like they do it and they like they like I've, uh, the Shrek one too is yeah, is, is, is good. Mm-hmm. But then you then you'll see like other foreign movies on Netflix or whatever mm-hmm. and then you'll listen to the English version and it's like yeah, yo like what is going on they're like, like here yeah. you do this you do that like <laughs> right. you know, someone, you know yeah. like something the yeah. Simpsons in Spanish it was just hilarious <laughs> 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 number <laughs> middle <laughs> <laughs> uh, no but uh, you know obviously Destiny you know we like to keep you here all, all night, but you know we got we got stuff going on. I know you got stuff going on, but before we, we wrap things up, Julio has his rapid fire round where, uh, you know, he throws you some some quick rapid fire questions, <laughs> puts you on the hot seat for a little bit. Oh she God, looks a little right. nervous, but <laughs> you got nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> like in your playing career, start one, cut one, bench one, season America Toluca. Start one, cut one, bench, bench one. one. Yeah. yeah. Start. Oof. America. Okay. Um, what was the other one? Season in uh, Toluca. Start bench cut. Um, Who are you gonna bench? Toluca cut season. Yeah. Oh. I mean, this is pro. That it's pro it versus good. college. Like, you know? like, no, because I partied a little bit at season, so I was like, Too but I think yeah. I was kind of going more like on experience. Mm. All right, better food, LA or Mexico? 
Mexico. It's not even a question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, you're Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the best thing you've eaten in Mexico? Uh, Fried dog? Oh, that's nasty. Oh my Yo, God. man. <laughs> There's been so much food that I like tried for the first time. So what about the seafood out there? Because I heard like, you know, I actually in Mexico, I started barely started like because I used to be like the pickiest either. Mm -hmm. And now I literally love um, octopus. Mm. And I, like, well, yeah. I like octopus more than I do um, shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah. And yeah. Octopus be the is bomb. And I, I barely started like, and I barely started liking menudo. Like, What's you know? your go-to antojito out there? Churros. Oh, with everything, con todo. With Nutella. No, American hot dogs or Mexican <laughs> hot dogs? Because they're different. Mm, like, 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 you know, like, the los callejones. Yeah, the los callejones. The, 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 the one they the do in calles? LA. LA. Yeah. Yeah. The hot dogs out there aren't that good. No, they're kind of like weird. Yeah. I mean, you got too much stuff going on. <laughs> we don't need like, that. Like that. <laughs> Last one. Uh, biggest stadium you've played in? Oof. Um, I don't know what it's called, though. The Tigres? <laughs> don't look at me. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> the Tigres Stadium. There. The Tigres. There you go. There, hey, there it is. You played the Azteca? No, I, every time. I've never played there. Even when I was You played there. in America for a whole season. That's why. I was there. The day we were supposed to play there. Uh, the whole tournament got canceled because oh, uh, of, like, of COVID. <gasps> and then the last, I think it was like two times that we were supposed to play there, I was hurt, I think, for both of them. Dang. Mm -hmm. And That's I was tough. like, this past time, we were supposed to play there too, but they ended up changing it to Coapa, which is like the, the club. Mm -hmm. And I was like, thank God, because I wasn't going to play too. <laughs> 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 like, oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> thank God. I was like, you know. I, I'm not saying she's a hater, but. <laughs> <laughs> If I don't get to play there, yeah, no one gets to play there. <laughs> Literally, I was like, dang, it's because I ended up getting um, five yellows the last, the last tournament. Oh, oh wow. That's so why you weren't yeah. playing. Okay. Dang. I got angry. <laughs> oh, I got a picture where she's like, found a girl on the floor, like, I screenshot and I sent her. <laughs> she's literally attacking the girl, like, girls in the face. And yeah, I was like, what'd you say? <laughs> that's like, yeah, that's, yeah, so that time I couldn't. But yeah, and I've never played in a stick. I've always wanted to. I've always gone to the games and everything. Sick. Mm -hmm. But I was like, dude, I can't even imagine you know, just being there. No. So it's we gotta be, next. Let's we hope gotta, so. we gotta get we gotta give a uh, uh, breathing, breathing exercises so she can calm down. She's or the urban pitch boost will get her. Oh, the urban, oh, oh yeah, I don't know if she's heard about is. the urban pitch boost though. What's yeah. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? We've had, on, I mean, we've on. had a handful of like pro, um, whether it's NWSL, uh, Liga MX Femenil, MLS, mm -hmm. um, where you know you come on the show, mm -hmm. two three weeks down the road, maybe a month, scoring a goal, making your debut, you know, mm -hmm. making. Playing in the Azteca, you know, you know, it's like so. So yeah, I'm not gonna say it's us, but I mean, it's kind of a weird coincidence that it happened, you know, five yeah. six After times. Yeah, every here. player that's came on, literally something for the first time happens, first yeah. goal, debut, whatever it yeah. may be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's coming Azteca. next. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah just know that it's check. us. <laughs> yeah. Just throw up a UP when you score another goal. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna do that, but you figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get it tatted. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know, a fake tattoo. A fake tattoo. I'll <laughs> send you a little one. <laughs> All right, thank you, Destiny, for coming. Thank really you appreciate so much, you. Destiny. Yeah, Destiny, uh, again, yeah. Thank you so much. You know, um, we've been trying to make this happen for for a little bit. Your schedule's been because she's crazy. so busy. She yeah, was waiting she's too for me busy. to be here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just took Bridget. You know, yeah. and all of a sudden, then she said, "Yeah." No, but, but thank you for clearing it up because I'm telling you, I am the plug, the hooker with the agent. Yeah, I didn't have no believe in me, but yeah. I'm out here. Yeah, uh, okay. I mean, you just can't believe half the things he says. Yeah, we, so, yeah. I mean, we have yeah. to uh, check it. Yeah. You got but, a Wikipedia. I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> yeah. All right. But um, you know, Destiny, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, thanks to everybody at home uh, who's watching and listening. This has been the Urban Pitch Podcast, a beautiful game of life, part of the Believe Network. For Julio Matarosa, Bridget Flores, Destiny Duron, I'm Ramsey Abushala, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. We out. Kobe. We out. <laughs> <laughs>